Now that we've seen how to build a Vaadin application from scratch, let's take a look at how to import an existing Vaadin application into IntelliJ IDEA. And IDEA makes this really easy for us, okay? So we'll press Alt-S to open up the VCS menu, and we'll check out from version control. And so I've been looking around GitHub for a good Vaadin application to show us, and I found this, which is a Vaadin Tetris clone. So we'll copy the URL, and we'll paste it into the VCS URL field, and we'll just click Enter. Once it's fully cloned the GitHub project, it'll prompt us to import the project object model.xml file. And so we'll just click yes here. Okay, good. Let's take a look at our project view. And you can see that IntelliJ has created all the bindings again for our web application. And if we look inside the project structure dialog and we open up the facets settings, um, you can see that there's two facets that it recognizes, a GWT facet and a web facet. And if you enable framework detection, Whenever you add a new facet, it'll automatically pick that up and build our project accordingly. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and edit our configuration so we can build a new project. So we'll create a new Maven configuration. And let's call this package launch jetty. Okay, and just like before, we'll package up the application and we'll run jetty run. and we're all set. Now we can just press Shift F10, and this will package up our application and launch the application server. And once that's all done, we'll be able to play some Tetris. Now we can just jump over to our browser, refresh the page, and we should be able to start dropping some blocks. So remember that this is all being run inside the server right now. Uh, even though it looks like I'm playing this game in my browser, um, it's really just sending the keystrokes back and forth to the Vaadin application server. And uh, let's pretend they're physically separate entities right now. What that means is, um, even if I were able to find a way to, say, hack the game, uh, give me all the straight blocks or all the square blocks like I really want, I still wouldn't be able to get very far because Vaadin validates the client-side state before making any changes to the server. So if it recognizes that you're trying to change that without um, the proper permissions or trying to access some uh, UI component without actually having it visible or something like that, then it'll automatically reject your, your client. And you can do all kinds of great things with that in terms of security. Um, but really, that's a, that's a good thing to have in any kind of web application framework, right? especially if you're developing business-sensitive um, transactions or like a multiplayer game, you really don't want anybody to modify their own state without the proper uh, permissions. And, and so that, that's what Vaadin does really well. So let's take a look at the server right now, and let's stop it and look. Just like that, your game stops. So um, this is this is one demonstration of just what you can do with Vaadin in terms of playing games and uh, web applications. And um, there's really a whole lot of powerful features that you can build into your app when you have that kind of close integration between the client and the server. So I hope you'll continue to develop and experiment with Vaadin. It's a rich application framework with a lot of great features, and I think you can tell it's very easy to get started with IntelliJ IDEA, whether you're a new user or someone who's familiar with Vaadin already and is looking to switch to a different IDE. IntelliJ has plenty to offer. Together, they'll let you develop powerful custom web applications to help you take your technology stack to the next level of form and function. I'm Brendan, and you're watching JetBrains TV in collaboration with Vaadin. Demand better software.